Apple leaks iPhone 14 and iPhone 14 Pro. Here's what we know so far. Welcome back to Future Tech Stack. The iPhone 14 Pro will launch on September 7th at the Apple Far Out event. Apple has officially announced the highly anticipated event, but hasn't revealed what will be revealed yet. So in this video, we're going to show you the leaked iPhone 14 Pro models, quality features, release date. Watch until the end to get all the details. The alleged iPhone 14 Pro dummy mannequin was leaked by tipster Ice Universe. It's stated to sport a pill-shaped hole punch slot on the show for the selfie digicam. As well as the smartphone seems to characteristic slim bezels. Latest rumors have instructed that the pill-shaped cutout on the professional fashions may home the Face ID sensor and the hole punch slot is claimed to retail the selfie digicam. Before starting the video, be sure to smash that like button and subscribe to never miss out on any of our videos. Apple needs the notch at the top of the iPhone to offer buyers secure 3D face authentication. That's a technology that has no rival in the mobile business. A few Android handset vendors have tried replicating it since Apple debuted the iPhone X. The rear camera module appears to be larger and more protruding on the back. The user demonstrated a purple-colored unit that turns blue in bright light. It's not clear how the user obtained this dummy unit. Similar to tipster Yogesh Brar tweeted a picture with a number of iPhone 14 Pro Max dummy fashions. These allegedly dummy fashions come within the gold and silver color choices. As sported through earlier iPhone smartphones at the side of two new color variants for the Pro lineup. The two new intended colors seem to be deep sunglasses of blue and purple. According to GSM Marina and 91 Mobiles, the lineup might include four models, including the base iPhone 14, iPhone 14 Pro, iPhone 14 Pro Max, and a new iPhone 14 Max version. A recent leak revealed that the iPhone 14 Pro Max camera module will be slightly bigger than the 13 Pro Max's module. Apple is set to introduce a new 48 megapixel main camera sensor, which will be 57% larger than the current 13 Pro models. It'll also feature a 12 megapixel ultra wide camera, a 12 megapixel telephoto camera, and a LiDAR sensor. The LED flash and a microphone will also make room for themselves in the camera module. As for selfies, the iPhone 14 models are expected to get a 12 megapixel front camera. Analyst Ming Chi Kuo claims all models of the iPhone 14 will get an upgraded front facing camera. It's looking like this will involve a new wider aperture, a more complex six part lens, and the addition of an autofocus for the first time. At the front, the iPhone 14 Pro Max will have a 6.7 inch 120Hz ProMotion OLED display. It'll have symmetric bezels on all sides. The iPhone 14 Pro models are rumored to feature a titanium chassis. Alternatively, Apple could stick to the stainless steel frame found in the 13 Pro models. The 14 Pro is rumored to pack a 3200 mAh battery, whereas the Pro Max will have a 4323 mAh cell. All four iPhone 14 models will pack 6GB of RAM. The Pro models will get the new A16 Bionic chip, whereas the non-Pro models will feature an A15 Bionic chipset. Dummy models usually don't represent the exact tone of Apple's options, with a high level of accuracy since they're often made of plastic, but the selection of colors on the show could provide a basic overview of what to expect. Dummy models are used to display, demonstrate, and test accessories like cases, so they strive to provide a relatively accurate overall substitute for the actual physical device. As such, it's reasonable to expect the color options to be based on legitimate information. Some rumors have stated that Apple will get rid of the camera bump and utilize telescoping lens systems to maintain sensor distance. However, these rumors haven't been substantiated and would still require Apple to increase the device's thickness to accommodate the new internal structure. For example, the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra doesn't appear to have a camera bump, but instead just small rings around each lens for protection. This was accomplished in part because the device is 8.9mm thick, that's 1.25mm thicker than the iPhone 13 lineup. Some tech tipsters reckon Apple will equip the iPhone 14 Pro with a starting storage of 256GB rather than 128GB, but this iPhone 14 Pro storage boost has been shot down in a report from Haitong International Analyst Jeff Pu, who claims that Apple will be keeping storage the same as it was the iPhone 13 Pro, which means sticking with 128GB, 256GB, 512GB, and 1TB storage options. As for the pricing, the iPhone 14 Pro is expected to be priced somewhere around $100 higher than its predecessor. 
The iPhone 13 Pro starts from $999, and the high-end iPhone 13 Pro Max starts from $1199. Keeping this information in mind, the iPhone 14 Pro could very well start from $1100, and can go all the way up to $1300 or even more. The timing should work out well with the new launch, coming as Apple allows iPhone owners to significantly customize their lock screens for the first time. You will be able to choose which widgets are essential enough to appear on the iPhone's sleep lock screen, and it looks like there will be sleep versions of Apple's wallpapers too. iPhone 14 Pro and Pro Max owners will be able to see information like weather, fitness, reminders, calendar events, and more without having to wake the iPhone's display. The sleep tint that's available is likely to be applicable to any wallpaper that the user chooses. Like the always-on display on the Apple Watch, the unactivated iPhone display will show a darker, fainter version of the wallpaper, time, and widgets. Apple is expected to use Qualcomm Snapdragon X65 5G chip, which is the first 10 gigabit 5G modem with faster connectivity speeds and connectivity improvements, in addition to its cellular and Wi-Fi connectivity. The iPhone 14 Pro could also gain the ability to connect to satellite networks. That's a feature that first emerged in the build-up to last year's iPhone 13 launch. While the capability didn't arrive in time for those phones, reliable tipsters say emergency satellite communications are a possibility for the iPhone 14 models. The idea is that when you're in an area without good cellular or Wi-Fi connectivity, you can send text messages to emergency services over satellite networks alerting them to your location. There are rumors that suggest Apple would finally go to the USB-C port route with the iPhone 14 Pro, and that would make sense as many of its devices already have USB-C connectivity. However, more recent rumors claim that Apple will stick with Lightning over USB-C, but switch to updated Lightning ports with faster USB 3.0 data transfer. That comes as the EU moves closer to making USB-C the standard charger for portable devices like phones, for some people, USB-C on the iPhone 14 Pro would be a must-have feature. In fact, the lightning connector is arguably the worst thing about the iPhone, as it can wear out over time. This can make it very difficult to charge your phone. Unfortunately, Apple is unlikely to abandon lightning unless it has to, given how established the standard and its ecosystem of accessories already is. The iPhone 14 Pro could feature significantly rounder corners to match the new, larger rear camera array, according to Apple concept graphic renderer Ian Zelbo. Starting in 2022, high-end iPhone models are likely to adopt a vapor chamber thermal system which Apple is said to be aggressively testing. A VC thermal system will be required for the high-end iPhones due to their stronger computing power and faster 5G connection speeds. There are already smartphones from companies like Samsung, Razer, and LG that use vapor chamber cooling technology, which is used to keep a device cooler when it's under heavy stress. It's unclear if the vapor chamber thermal system will meet Apple's high requirements, but Apple is working on improving it, and high-end models could adopt it in the near future. The iPhone 14 Pro could be the phone many of us have been waiting for, with the Pro models tipped to offer a real evolution of the iPhones we've seen over the past few years. Sure, it's not going to be unrecognizable from the iPhone 13 and iPhone 12, but we suspect this upcoming generation of iPhone will introduce a design language and capabilities that will set the stage for other iPhones to follow. Let us know your opinion in the comment section below. This was all for today. Hope you liked the video. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and share this video. Stay safe and we'll be back soon with another video just for you guys. Until then, take care and be happy, guys.